What are you guys doing in my living room? Oh, you're here to learn how to do a magic trick. Well, I'm going to teach you how to do what's called the French drop. Look it up. The French drop. You take a coin, put it in your hand, and it's gone. It's gone. Ooh, no, it's right there. It's behind your ear. There it is. I'll do another version for you. Look, there's the coin. Put it in my hand. Oh, I have a magic rubber band in my pocket. Snap it, and the coin is completely gone. Woo! And it's never to return. I'll show you how both versions are done. First of all, the French drop is the very first sleight of hand trick I ever learned in magic. All you do is drop the coin when you go to pick it up. See this? I'm pretending to take the coin. I'm not actually taking the coin from my hand. Now to make it look really natural, really take the coin when you're practicing. See how I'm actually taking the coin? Now look, the same movement looks exactly the same. Aha, that's called practice. Now here's what, what it really looks like. Take the coin, point to your hand, boom, it's gone. And you hold your hands in sort of a cur curled position like this and you go, oh, where did it go? Oh, it's behind your ear. And all I do is I simply work the coin up to my fingertips. That's it. Now how do you make the coin vanish all the way? You have a rubber band in your pocket like this and you're all set to make a coin completely vanish. You do the French drop. Okay, here's the coin, French drop. Boom, it's gone. Wait, ooh, I did it too early. Now look, hold your hand tight, point to it, and say, I'm going to get a magic rubber band from my pocket. And when you do that, you take the coin and drop it into your pocket and take out the rubber band. You're free and clear. This is called one step ahead. Snap the rubber band and the coin is gone. Nobody knows that it's really in your pocket except you. And that, my friends, is magic. Now I have to go fix myself some lunch. Enjoy your trick. This is Stuart McDonald, signing off.